Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm AJ. We sponsored Chick-fil-A before it was cool. Welcome back to another Extraordinary Times, the, the AJ and the Jeremy, and our first story of today. Pictures from Mars have finally gone through that are not black and white, and they look like this, and like this, and... It's a little bit disappointing, because, well, it's basically red earth. I, I've, I've been to California. And gray it, sky. It, it, it's the same thing. And now we move over to Israel for no really important reason. Apparently, the Orthodox Jewish men who really want to be hardcore Orthodox Jewish men have decided that they're going to come out with these wonderful glasses that actually blur your vision after a certain distance. Now, that's a little bit counterintuitive to most of us, but to them, it is very important that they don't gaze upon, um, well, women who might arouse certain feelings inside of them. And so they, instead of letting letting all the world around them be seen, they just want to see up to a certain point or like some of their perif get uh, cut out. These basically uh, stickers that blur the vision are applied onto their glasses and uh, they, they are uh, chaste men, apparently. Now, I don't know why you want to do this. I mean, I get glasses to see beyond a certain point. I can't see beyond this point. Apparently you'd be a very chaste man <laughs> in, in Israel. I wouldn't even need the glasses. I'd just walk around as is. Oh. You do look a little Jewish. <laughs> you know, because your name is Andrew. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When. So if you're going to be sailing anywhere in New Zealand anytime soon, you might want to look out for rocks. Um, not actually in New Zealand or around an island, just floating out in the middle of nowhere. Like 10,000 square miles of rocky McRockness. From what they're saying, it looks like it is actually just from an underwater volcano that erupted suddenly. Rocks cooled down in the water real fast, trapping air inside, and produced this giant raft of floating rocks. Really cool. Uh, they've already had to divert some ships you know, from it going to shipping lanes, that kind of stuff, but crazy, huh? Moving over to Italy, where apparently one of the many wonders of the world is a 36-year-old Norwegian man who got drunk and passed out on an airport luggage moving rack thing. Now, if you've ever seen one of those, those it's basically a bunch of metal blades overlapping each other. Mm. So in, in and of itself, that makes me nervous for, for the guy's health. But he apparently traveled like 160 meters on this rack into the airport like luggage area and got scanned by the x-rays and he looks like this inside and that's crazy but oh. you know it's it's weird that a drunk guy was unnoticed in an airport luggage rack and got all the way that far inside like oh. I, I want to know I want to know did the Italians notice him before that? And, and like, if so, they just trolled him. And if they did, <laughs> good job. And if they didn't, what in the heck? <laughs> All right, heading over back to Colorado, where Democrats have done it again. There's a man who decided to bring his daughter to a um, thing where the president was going to be speaking. And he says, you know, my daughter is eight years old. She has Asperger's. And, you know, this is a wonderful opportunity for her to meet the President of the United States and, and just be a memory for her for life. And, well, they got to the place because uh, a little bit late because she has Asperger's and a little sensitive to sunlight. So they figured we can get there at 4. He doesn't speak till 5.30. Should be good. Unfortunately, by the time they got there, the President had already spoken. He definitely got on the stage way early. Not only that... Secret Service wouldn't let him in. So they're taking it. It's like, yeah, sorry, you are considered a potential threat. What? A dad with his eight-year-old daughter with Asperger's is a potential threat? Not only that, they let in a Democratic official. Like, as soon as they said, you know, no, you can't come in. But, oh, yes, yeah, so this Democratic official can come in. What? Honestly, they're a bigger security risk to America. Yeah. But we're not going to get into that today. And especially after the president has recently come out and said, you know, no, we shouldn't be discriminating against different people just because, uh, according to how much money they have or their position in life. And then this happens. 
And I would like to point out, very much like like the buses that run, if if a bus is like 15 minutes late to a stop, that's totally fine. If they're one minute early to a stop, bus driver gets fired. I'm not sure if you know about that, but that's that's legit. At the same in the same corridor of thought, if the president is supposed to speak at 5:30 and he speaks at four, that's that's weird. Like nobody it's knew. Like, it's like it's just kind of. He just kind of did it, and then whatever, because he's Barack Obama, and he can do whatever he wants. And because we can't leave you on that serious of a note today, because it's Friday, uh, apparently in Las Vegas, they decided they wanted to open another Denny's. Now, I was just there a couple of months ago, as you may recall, and we drove down the Strip. Our first act of getting into Vegas after, you know, getting to Vegas, we drove down the Strip, and I actually counted eight Denny's. On the strip. Oh so God. this Denny's, they have to make it a little bit different. So in addition to being the 24 hours that a Denny's is, they're having a full bar that is also open to 24 hours and a wedding chapel. That's wow. enormous. That's crazy. Also, the, the 6,400 square foot, like, megalopolis of, uh, of a restaurant is going to have, like, a photo booth where you can take photos with props and stuff, and then with the photo booth itself, share it onto, like, Facebook and Twitter and all the stuff that you're supposed to share us on. Wink. That's so crazy to me. Mostly because they're opening another Denny's, and it's going to be just as successful as the other eight Denny's that are on the Strip. Honestly, it's going to be awesome. But moving on, thank you so much for watching The Extraordinary Times. We love you guys, and thank you for loving us back, or or whatever you do. Yeah. The, love our friends. I, hate, I don't know. I don't I know. Too. Yes, all, all the things. All the things happen, if you didn't know. Also, you know, there's the like button over here, favorite dish button over here if you're on YouTube, watch on YouTube. And the uh, subscribe button up there, watch on YouTube. And, you know, share us with your friends, like we just said. And we will see you next week. Be aware. I, I thought you had a yeah, thought then. I, I do, I do. It was all gone. Because there's bad Democrats in Colorado. Evidently. Like President Obama. Oh, That was cold. My Colorado. I have good friends in Colorado. Yeah. Me too. I love my friends in Colorado. I tend to be a Republican, though. Yeah. That's tragic. Those are some evil Republicans. That's Where did the ad come from? Oh my gosh. And why do language professors hate him? I really want to know, but at the same time, a huge resounding no. All right, heading over to Calif California, really? Yeah, Colorado. Da, 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 da. Literally just talked about it for mm -hmm. like 30 seconds. I did. In Colorado. Nice. <laughs>